But later today, we're going to find out if the Lobos will keep on climbing in the polls because the men's basketball team is still undefeated and now definitely has some serious bragging rights in the Rio Grande rivalry. Oh, yeah, and I bet you they are going to be climbing in the polls today. The Lobos <laughs> took on the New Mexico State Aggies on Saturday. UNM won big time, 73-58. to 58, wow. And they're going to try to do the same thing again this week when they play the Aggies in Las Cruces. I believe that game is going to be Wednesday, Wednesday night-ish. But yeah, they're ranked number 17 and 20 in the polls so far. Yes. New polls come out today. Hopefully, hey, maybe we can get into like 13, 14. Right? You know, it's and Imagine it's top 10. Times. I mean, we are getting close to that top 10. I'm, I, this is really exciting for the state. So I'm so happy for them. Yes, <laughs> keep it up, keep it up. We'll keep sending good thoughts. Well, a famous drummer and New Mexico native who was mostly known for jamming out with the likes of Ozzy Osbourne and Motley Crue will be honored <laughs> this week. According to the Albuquerque Journal, the West Mesa High School Performing Arts Center will be named after Randy Castillo tomorrow. Yeah, now Castillo died from cancer in 2002 when he was just 51 years old and was part of the first graduating class at West Mesa High School back in 1968 and launched his career playing with local bands. So it's nice to, uh, to honor the talented ones and uh, keep the memory alive, absolutely. Now let's switch from a music legend to mm -hmm. a middle schooler. A Cleveland middle school student, in fact, is getting a special honor from Mayor R.J. Berry later today. All right, Justin Bates organized a special drive for his classmates to collect toys and money to help Toys for Tots. Around 11 this morning, the mayor will personally thank Justin. He, he did thank it. him on TV. Remember, he yes, was talking he did. about him. I mean, this is a really special thing because, you know, sometimes, it's like, especially when we're talking like they were saying in that last package on the news, mm -hmm. when you talk about so many tragedies, it's really important that we keep remembering that mm -hmm. there are good people and there are good hearts and good spirits and we yeah. want to highlight them just as much as we focus on the bad ones right. if not more. So, so still open up your hearts and the Toys for Tots still uh, needing a lot of toys at this point so anything that you can do to help it's not too late to turn in some toys for some little boys and little girls. Make so them make happy. Them happy. <laughs> yeah 